So it all interlinks and is about how you perceive, how you read, how you consume, all of these things. It's all to if you really want to magnify your creative potential, if you really want to magnify your ability to be aware, which is what it fundamentally is, to expand your awareness, it's all about applying the same thing. It's applying skepticism and open-mindedness to these different aspects of your life. So it's, it's not just, oh, reading, but it's also with what you consume. It's a massive thing. And you get this now where it's like, you have, this is something actually was talked about a little bit in the My Room Society Forum, was that you have this idea of kind of in a way, because there's this split in evolution, you could say now, that could potentially cause further evolution of the human species as a split that uh, man is either becoming a reactionary or a creative and that this split itself is going to cause maybe a a massive change in the evolution of man in like the next 100 years you could say and um, that was called punctuated equilibrium within or the, the punctuated equilibria of a, of a species and you see this with kind of modern man is that man in the past 10,000 years has fundamentally massively uh, evolved from the, the the previous species in which we were supposedly were if we go by the evolutionary standard right we we supposedly evolved massively in the past 10,000 years with culture you know the building of architectures the, the history storytelling um the creation of technology, all of these things, inventions, thoughts, all of this stuff, all in the past 10,000 years of our species. And in the grand scheme of things, that is a very small amount of time. And this is what, what this idea is about, is that now, if we apply that idea now, because we are, with, we are developing our minds into a different kind of dopamine reality where we get higher stimuli, we're getting... We're consuming more different things at a different rate. We have access to information that we never had before and that would, that would take a whole lifetime for, for someone 200 years to gain access to, that we can gain access to in one day. This kind of thing. We've got this massive access of information and how that's going to propel our evolution as a species. And it, it's all got to, and there's going to be like a, potentially a, a, a split in evolution where you have reactionaries and then you have creatives. And it's about getting rid of that evolution down of a downward spiral, spiral where there's just gonna be this codependency towards consumerism and reactionary abilities, but rather towards creativity uh, and critical thinking. And that's the kind of direction we need to go into instead of the other, because you can see now you have people today who are like, well, I'm, I'm feeling really alienated, feeling really lost in society and it's like that's because for them the society is representing this other kind of evolution and they themselves are the outlier of the the massive kind of context in which they are in within society right and they don't want to go down that direction so they start seeking out different things they start seeking out a certain kind of community that doesn't represent this whole the consumerist society and you could say the consumerist society is going to evolve and go down a certain way and it's our job and your job also to kind of make a choice of where you want to go, what direction you want to go into, you know. And it's fundamental that we choose the right one, which is the creative path. It's the Promethean path, the light bearer path, you know, you could say the Luciferian path or whatever. But it's it's the pathway which is the one towards because the other one is more satanic, you could say you could say it's more satanic because it's more moloch. Uh, sacrifice. It's sacrificing your potential for some other kind of reality in which is being controlled from the top to bottom. You know, we are promised these ideas. You could say the government is Satan because the government doesn't really exist. It's more just paper pushing systems which, you know, with official, you know, political pundits and puppets and all of this. It's not really a reality that we actually can see and can touch and can feel and can smell is not actually something that exists it's rather an idea which becomes invested and in, in, injected into the minds of people 
to limit their potential and, and to get them to become more of a reactionary consumer um, instead of the opposite way around where we create our own reality for ourselves and the people we love. So it's like there's this splitting in evolution or this direction in which we are both going but then you need to pick which way you want to go. And But anyway, this all adds into like the actions of what you do. So and it and it adds into every single thing that you participate yourself in reading consuming working how you perceive the world how you act in the world all these things and they need to be augmented towards a creative lifestyle which is all about being as conscious as possible you need to live in a frame of mind where you're as conscious as possible and that's not easy it takes practice it takes work you need to be humble, you need to drop the ego, as I'm saying. But a lot of people confuse me, confuse me with, like, what do you mean by drop the ego? When I'm talking about drop, dropping the ego, I'm talking about dropping the thing which, for the insecure person, is limiting themselves. Because usually I'm talking about it in relation to people who are insecure. Someone who's insecure has a really, uh, you know, a, 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 they're kind of obsessed with themselves because they start thinking what they're going to, what is this person going to think of me? How are they going to see me? How are they going to perceive me? How should I act around them? Should I be myself? Should I be someone else? Should I live up to persona? All of this stuff, it like carries on. And the the humility of uh, being humble in the face of life and understanding that not everything's about you is what brings the peace and the love. And it's, it's a complete different dynamic. Hey guys, so just a quick update on my own society. We have sold out on over 50% of the seats, so if you still want to get involved, book in a free consultation call with me down below. I'll run you down with what it is all about, or me or one of my colleagues will do so, and we can see if you are a perfect fit to the program. So I look forward to talking to you, and I'll see you on the inside.